Hi, it's Rod, and this one's called God's Ways to Deal with Depression. Well, before I was saved, I was quite depressed. So the first step to dealing with depression is learning how to get saved through the cross of Jesus Christ. To start to experience God for the first time, that he's real. And that you find out as you study his word that he's good. And uh, you're not alone. And he loves you. And he can help you. Basically, dealing with depression has to do with dealing with lies that we believe. We're in a war with Satan. And Satan doesn't want us believing the truth. And if you choose to believe the truth then it could produce good emotions in your mind. If you choose to believe in lies, then it will produce bad emotions in your mind. So first you have to believe you need to get saved. And then you, after you get saved through believing that God sent His Son Jesus Christ to die on the cross to take your sins away, now you can start to approach God's presence or experience God's presence. It says, in God's presence is the fullness of joy, Psalm 1611. It says, if we search for God with all of our heart, we'll find him. The Bible says that we can be filled with the Holy Spirit, and the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love and joy and peace. Now, this is a supernatural love and joy and peace. It's not something you get from trusting in yourself or trying to get things from the world to make you happy it comes from getting a good God to make you happy instead it comes from experiencing God's spiritual peace love and joy from his Holy Spirit that makes you feel good when I think of depression I think of a lack of joy or missing out on what you need to be happy or joyful and when I started to believe that I needed God to be happy, I started feeling happy. When I was back in the world before I was saved, I was trying to find all kinds of things in the world to try to be happy. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, whatever Satan was telling me, would make me happy or something. And uh, usually you try to find happiness in those things. They don't make you happy. You feel depressed. You turn to entertainments or drugs or alcohol to try to get your mind off of your unhappiness. And it's all because you're not choosing to get saved. You're not choosing to get close to God. So that's been my cure for depression or God's cure for me for depression. <laughs> getting saved and getting close to Him. And trying to do what He says to do and, and feeling Him or hearing Him say to me, I like what you're doing. You can have some peace that you've got an awesome, good, loving God who's like a perfect father for you or a perfect husband. And he likes what you're doing and he's le trying to lead you into a great judgment day and great rewards and great careers in heaven forever. You have to live in this evil and suffering world for a while, but you got God, you got God helping you through it. It's like I'm sure Joseph didn't want to go into slavery or imprisonment in Egypt, but God had a plan for it. Uh, the whole purpose in life is to try to start up a relationship with God that will last for eternity. And some people do, and some people don't. <laughs> Well, like Jesus said, if you enter the kingdom of heaven, most people don't. It's like unless you become like a humble little child, you're not going to enter the kingdom of heaven. So you need a revelation that you have a perfect father who loved you so much that he gave his son Jesus to die on a cross for you. If you can start believing these things, you can start feeling these things. We feel what we believe. If I believe a lie, then I feel a lie. If I believe the truth, then I feel the truth. Another thing that may be causing depression is unhealthy eating choices or being tired all the time because you're making your sick with not obeying God to eat the right foods. 
And uh, we've got to be obedient to God's voice. If he's telling us to eat certain foods and try to stay away from other foods and we don't obey him to do it, or say he's tempting us to eat all kinds of junk food, it can make us really tired and sick, and that can depress us. But if we're doing what God wants us to do, it's, it's not dependent on how good I feel physically. It's, it's the spiritual joy. You could be in a wheelchair and still be full of joy God's way. I could be having sickness in my body, but still be joyful God's way. I got severe back pain, but I'm still joyful. I've learned to do that, uh, regardless of the situation I'm in. I got a friend who's in a wheelchair that's very joyful. He says, God helps me through it. I got severe back pain. I can be very joyful. God helps me through it. God doesn't promise to heal us all the time of every disease and everything. Well will be healed one day when we enter heaven or something of everything but for now some things stay in our life that are like a trial or something other things he heals and uh, you can always have the joy if you want it the bible says draw close to god and he'll draw close to you in god's presence is a fullness of joy be filled with the holy spirit the holy spirit's love joy and peace that's what you need to do to get rid of depression in your life. Start believing the truth. Start getting your happiness the way God's telling you to get your happiness. Stop trying to get it the old devil's wrong way from the things of the world. Money, power, physical pleasure, etc. It doesn't make you very fulfilled. It's like a prodigal son looking for happiness through alcohol and sex or whatever. It doesn't make him happy. He ends up without it and he's depressed in a pig pen or something and he comes to his senses and says I'd be happier if I uh, went back to my father's house and uh, was like a servant to him instead of not uh, being estranged from my father so he goes back and he finds his father is so joyful that he's chosen to repent of his wrong way to be happiness through sin or something and he's able to find happiness through a good relationship with his father. So if we're, we got a bad relationship with God going, the way to it's creating depression in our mind and fear and everything, the only way to deal with that is to repent, is to stop believing lies, disobeying God, following Satan, is to turn around and start to believe God's truth and follow him and obey him. Get into the word, find out God's way to be happy, seek to obey his voice, to do it his way. There's two kinds of way to happiness, Satan's wrong way or God's right way. And uh, it's up to us whether we want to learn from God his right way to be happy or not. There's a lot of different advice out there on how to be happy. But uh, the only one that works is getting saved and obeying God and being close to God and getting your spiritual happiness from God. Spiritual love, joy, and peace. So that is the way God has made me happy. Before I was saved, not much happiness. Searching from, from the world, sex, drugs, rock, and roll, not working for me. I kind of said back before I was saved, I got saved when I was around 25. Um, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. <laughs> I always searching for something, never finding it. I'm still depressed or whatever. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. Sometimes I think of the word depression as sort of like an anger about not getting what you want or something to be happy. And uh, once you find what you're looking for to be happy, salvation, the Holy Spirit, the presence of God in your life, then uh, the depression goes and joy fills you instead. So that's my advice for people that uh, are depressed. Try to learn about God's way to be happy, um, about the joy of the Lord. It can be our strength. And uh, it's about getting as close as you can to God. It's like <laughs> in God's presence is a fullness of joy. You want to get into God's presence, you'll have a fullness of joy. You can't be letting 
thoughts about God's not good or God's not real or something stop you from getting your happiness God's way. It's through faith and belief in the blood of Jesus to take all our sins away, for God to draw close to us when we try to draw close to him. And sometimes it's good to put on worship music or something that uh, God can inhabit the praises of his people. That as you try to focus your mind on God for your source of happiness rather than the world for your source of happiness, resist the devil's temptations to look for your happiness his wrong way. It's not through junk food or television shows or pornography or immoral sex or drugs or more money or bigger houses or whatever. You could be joyful even if you're in a World War III. <laughs> You can be joyful even if you're in a lion's den or a fiery furnace. You can be joyful like John on the Isle of Patmos and getting great revelation from God there. You can feel joyful about thinking about heaven to come. Life is short on this earth. It's a preparation time to, for an eternity somewhere. It can be awesome paradise of heaven with God which you can start experiencing now. The presence of God is the paradise. <laughs> Jesus is my promised land or whatever. But uh, you can be depressed on earth, following the devil, trying to find your happiness the wrong way, rebelling against God, and then go to hell and be even more depressed than hell forever when you die. But that's our free will choice. Get saved, obey, go to heaven. It keeps the depression away. <laughs> keeps the joy flowing. So... That's how I have uh, dealt with my depression with God's help, too. That's some of God's ways to deal with depression. <laughs>